Another reminder that the recovery from Hurricane Florence is still underway, especially for those coastal communities in the southern half, even of central North Carolina. This morning, well, it's just chilly out there. Looking out from Smithfield, 32 degrees, exactly freezing. We're a little cooler than that in the triangle with clear skies overhead. You can even see a little bit of starshine out there for our various cameras in the network. 31 degrees, the temperature officially in the triangle. It's 30 in Durham and Chapel Hill. A little farther west, 29 degrees in Pittsburgh and in Sanford. Elsewhere, temperatures running mostly around freezing. So if you park outdoors, you may have to scrape off the windshield, but the atmosphere is pretty dry, so I don't think you're going to have too many concerns with that. Temperatures in the mid to upper 30s around Cumberland County, Fayetteville, Eastover, Stedman, and Grays Creek. You're all tied for the warm spot across all of central North Carolina with a current temperature of 39 degrees. But a good looking dog walking forecast for a good looking pup. Say hello to Sugar, our dog of the day. Thank you to the Aldridge family for sharing that very good girl with us. So sweet looking. Temperatures are going to warm up nicely, so we're going to climb up into the low 50s already by noon. Mid 50s for highs this afternoon. Lots of sunshine overhead and that breeze is not going to be much of a factor. So good dog walking weather, good travel weather. If you're going to be hitting the roads or heading to the airport, give yourself lots of extra time. We've seen the security lines from CBS 17's Brichelle Edmay live at RDU and they are long. Temperatures are going to warm up as we go through the morning. It's a cold start, but should be fine out there by midday. Temperatures just above 50 in the triangle, mid 50s farther south and just below 50 degrees along the Virginia state line. We'll keep warming up mid 50s expected for the triangle close to 60 degrees the farther the south you go. All these temperatures are running about five, six, seven degrees below average, but even cooler weather is on the way tomorrow, but it will remain dry. If you are headed to the airport, looks like good travel conditions for the eastern half of the country. There's a little bit of snow in the northeastern U.S., mainly downwind of the Great Lakes and mainly farther inland away from those travel hubs in the northeast, but I would expect some volume related delays. Might be a couple delays if you're heading to Texas, Houston, just going to get some rain that usually doesn't slow things down a whole lot, but doesn't take much to cause some problems when there's so many many people traveling. Then the West Coast, that's where there's going to be more delays. The Seattle, Portland Airport, San Francisco as well might have some heavier rain related delays. And while they desperately need the rain in Northern California, this might be a little too much all at once. They're going to be looking at flash flooding and landslide potentials in some of those same areas that had the wildfires just within the past couple of weeks. For us, we have rain on the way Saturday. The amounts have backed off a little bit, so we're not as concerned about localized flooding potential, but still talking about around an inch, maybe a little bit more falling across much of central North Carolina, some of the heavier mounts out to our west in the mountains of western North Carolina, and it does look like it'll be mostly rain, although those folks could deal with a little bit of frozen precipitation as it starts. Temperatures will be cooler over the next couple of days, but warm enough for all rain on Saturday, mid to upper 40s tomorrow and Friday, and then back to the 50s Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, but just an unsettled pattern Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Okay. So not it's looking okay. We still got drive for Thanksgiving, so yes. that's all that matters. You've got family flying into town today. Yep. That's going to be fun. I have uh, 10 people coming. And they're all staying with you? Um, seven of them are. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. It's going to be crazy. Good luck I with that. I told my fiance, he doesn't come from as big of a family. I'm like, just, I'm sorry, but <laughs> their stuff's going to be everywhere. <laughs> Does he have a plan to cope with that? I think wine. <laughs> <laughs> Deep breaths. <laughs> yeah. Deep breaths and wine. Just being honest, guys. Yep. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. If you're just joining.